What's going on guys? Life of Mikey Gaming here. Today, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the PS Vita. Or hack it, or whatever you want to call it. But, um, so, here are the, um, the stipulations of what you need. So obviously you need a PS Vita. You need to update to the highest, the newest firmware, which is um, 3.60. Here, I'll show you. information 3.60 whatever <clears throat> so what you want to do you need to be on 360 and you need to be have a PS Vita obviously now another thing after you do this little hack if you shut it off if you shut the PS Vita off you're gonna have to redo it which is simple I'll show you here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the web browser You're going to go to this website. I'm going to have the link in the description if you need it. Okay, I guess the website's back up. It's henkaku, H-E-N-K-A-K-U dot X-Y-Z. Now, if this goes offline, well, uh, like it did before, it was henkaku dot M-E. Let me see if that site works, too. Probably just redirects you. Yeah, just redirects you to here. So what you're going to want to do when you're here, actually, let me just show you the site. What is henkaku? Henkaku is their first ever homebrew enabler for PS Vita and PS TV. It is, ask, it is akin to jailbreaking your iPhone or rooting in your Android device. Homebrew are games and other software not officially approved. For example, Vita Doom, which is this, Doom, uh, back back in the olden olden days. I don't forget what it's for. It's a port from the cl cl classic game Doom and uh, GBA, which is Game Boy Advance, lets you play Game Boy Advance ROM, ROMs, you can find examples in the showcase. How do I get it? I'm going to show you the requirements, 3.60 internet connection, um, an FTP client on your PC to get the games. I'll show you that also in a memory card, at least with 10 at least with 10 megabytes on it to install this. So what you're going to do, you're going to go, you're going to hit the install button. You're going to say install. Now sometimes I might bring up an error, just close out the internet browser and redo it and keep trying. But eventually you'll get it. Like that. Okay, here take. Okay, so that's what happens when you when you install it. Autom this automatically pops up and it does its thing. It's installing everything, and then it exits out the browser. Then you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll get this or your next page, wherever there's a free bubble. It's called Molecular Shell. And as you can see, I already have a couple over here: Sega Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and Vita Doom. Uh, you click on Molecular Shell. Uh, we already installed it, so we don't have the install button. So I'm going to show you. We click on that, and I'm going to show you how to uh, get the games or whatever on your Vita really quick. Uh, so this is just you can go go through all your uh, files in your Vita and whatever. But so this is how you do it. So when you're in this menu, you're going to hold the select button, or you're going to press it. Now let me open the MacBook. So what you're going to do is you're going to install. I'll have a link in the description below. You're going to install a program. Program is called FileZilla. So you want to open that up. So when it opens up, what you're going to want to do is so you see where it says FTP server running FTP 192 whatever yours is. What you're going to do is you're going to type that right here where it says host. You type 192 FTP dash uh, so what is it? Semicolon, whatever. Slash slash one nine two dot one. Whatever your number is, you type it in there. And then the port number, the last four digits, minus one three three seven, go here. Then you connect. Then you'll see a bunch of folders over here. You'll see the same folders as you see. You'll see the same folders as you see here. You'll see them on your computer here. So. 
Um, you, you download, there's directions on the website, you download the, um, the emulator, you drag them into the file that you need to drag them in. You can make a new file. It's called, I just named it Games, and I just dragged the folders in there. You can, dra you can drag them anywhere. So then when you, once you're done doing that, everything gets transferred here. So you can close this. So how, how to install them once you get them on there is go to the folder that you put them in. My, in my case, it's UXO. I made a, I made a folder called Games. So the, um, the emulators are VP, VPK files. If they're not VPK files, uh, I don't know what to tell you. you got to find one. So if you want to install one, you just we'll ins we can install Vita Doom. You press X on the VP VPK file, install this package. You click cross or X to say yes, and it installs. And you do that for every single program you want to install. And for the games, all you do is drag the games into the. You can drag the games right into the games folder, or you can, or you have to drag them right into the. Um, the, uh, the folder, like I have a uh, Super Nintendo SN SNES folder in the data section. Yeah, I'll show you. So, on the computer, if you, you can go to this too. So, you go to data, and you'll see the SNES folder. You just drag all your little games inside there. Same with the Game Boy and everything. Alright, so after you're done doing that, you can exit out of here, and you can go on to play your games. So Donkey Kong, Super Mario, Super Mario World, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. So let's just go with Super Mario World. It has sound and everything. One player. Remember this game? This game brings back memories. So it works, completely works. You're good. The games also save. Why can't I get a freaking apple? Oh, I need Yoshi for that. Yoshi's right over there. But anyways, yeah. So the game works. That's how you get emulators and ROMs on your PS Vita. If you need any more instructions or directions or anything, just let me know. Post in the comments below. I'll be gladly, uh, gladly help you with this. <clears throat> um, it's pretty. It's pretty easy. All the directions are also on the website. So. Let me know if you have any questions, post in the comments below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the gaming videos and gaming news and everything. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!